when I saw her in the casting, the first thing I realized really, sometimes it's quite difficult to tell someone that the curve is not my mosquito. It's very, it's very important. I think it's, it's better as a way of a perfect consultation. It's a journey you can have with your client to make that perfect. Because who doesn't want to feel good? Tell me who. So when a client comes to your salon, they want to feel good, so there's an approach to it. We call it like a creative consultation journey. That's when you start from even your, how you stand, how you open your church, you embrace your client. I, I'm here just to make sure I work for you later. I'm giving, I'm talking about your beauty. And I was like, by telling you, for example, my mother, the person, it was, was, it was quite easy for me just to show her how beautiful her skin tone is, but how her color was affecting her skin tone. Even though you're pale, it's not, it's, it's not wrong. It's nature. God made you like that. Okay, but one thing she was not getting, I think, it was like it was too orange or, 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 or yellow, I'll call it. Okay, that's not, but it doesn't mean it's wrong, but it's a kind of tone to work with the skin, with the skin looks more shiny and healthier. Many people think so it's about showing the eyes, not about showing the eyes, it's having the, the whole balance around it. Does that make sense? So what we did with her, very simple, she has a few inch wrinkles, a few like brassiness, a little bit yellowish around. So I said, you know what? I was working with Robert in uh, at the, the lab this morning, what we did with the roots area, this is right color again, we, we use our bleach, which is our lighting cloud, I call it, which make it more easier for you guys. With, with 8.5 activator, 8.5 volume activator on the roof. It's very, it's perfect. You don't have to tell her you for it. So you're going to get there. At least the integrity of the hair is better. For it to work on. That's very, very important. It's about the integrity of the hair. So I use our true light white. And with 8.5 on the roof, the mid length and length, so last 15 minutes to clean it. I bring it to yellow. I like yellow. The reason I'm bring it to light, because if you bring it to light, if I'm going to tone it, it's going to fade faster. Because I went too light. So what happened? I prepared a perfect under coat for me. So when I put my color, it sits perfect, it doesn't fade. If I go too light and it fades fast, what I do, I complain. Teaching copyright color fades very fast. You don't realize it was your fault because you leave it too much. That's when you prep it. It's like when you're eating. If you clean the table, you see, you will enjoy your food. But it's dirty around, you won't eat it. You can't complain. That's when you have to prep the hair. The same thing here. You prep the hair for a perfect underlying pigment. So allows me when I want to create my perfect tone, I can get my nice color. So my formulation here, very, very creative again, but simple, very logical. I use a three quarter of a true of zero but three. It's like a champagne gold. Okay? Then inside there, what I did, I did zero over zero two. That's just like 10 grams. Then I put every 60 grams, every 10 grams, sorry, every 10 grams of my base, I put one gram of six over six four. Intense dark long intense red with a red copper. So every 10 grams of my, my base, my toner, I put one gram of that. Okay? Then here you go, we did 8.5, we did all over like that. So that gave me like something like a really like a coral tone, with a little bit of pinkish in it, and a little bit of like a stroke. It's like a mixture of tone, it's like a, a material. So when you look at some of you can see the different tone that goes around it, that's the approach. So I'm mixing again my semi-permanent with my permanent to create my personal tone. Does that make sense? And as you move around it, you can see there's different kind of tone.